because we have made the first and last poses for this now i have to go to the 13th frame uh, 13th frame is where i'll just be changing the leg position like so this leg has to go forward now so move it forward at this frame so just check the uh, position of that leg over here at what Can I start still moving this leg forward? It's doing some resistance. Hmm? It doesn't still... want to move. Yeah. Oh, why it's not moving it some forward? I need to just check it. So uh, there is one more thing which you can do it over here is I can also copy uh, the position of this leg so this mm -hmm. control c so like this leg now uh, and put it on the other layer yeah so paste it so it will like go exactly that's uh, place yeah so in 13th frame yeah yeah so 13th frame i'll just make that now i have to copy this key control c all the key poses for this go to 13th frame now select this leg and paste for it. yeah so now it is much easy so we have this yeah uh movement for the box so when i just start playing that now so it will automatically move mm -hmm. okay so we have this loop now so we have just made three poses so where the leg is crossing and we have this okay so it will look odd because we didn't add any kind of in between poses for that so uh, we are just working on this poses now so now i have to work on uh, this passing pose so select this rotation also and for this also you need to give the keyframe because it will be there in this place and now i have to work on passing pose where this is what will happen uh, this is called passing pose uh, where one leg will be lifted up and the whole weight of the body will be on this leg. This is called passing mm -hmm. pose. Okay, so this is contact, passing, this is weight pose and this one pose where the body or the head will go to the peak height over here. So that is one more called peak pose. Okay, so these are the different poses we need to mark. So at seventh frame what I will do is whichever the leg is coming from back. Mm -hmm. So you need to see that which is leg. This one, this is the leg which is coming from back side. So go to seventh frame and let's make that pose much proper. So uh, it should be up like this, and this should be rotated. Just want to make that pose much more proper. This more rotation for this. Yeah, and just lift this up. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to make that pose over here. And for this leg, uh, it should be very straight on the ground. So select this leg, press U. So which is that leg over here? And this is the position of that. So I need to make sure that all these attributes are zero for this leg. So there should be no rotation for this and no heel uh, rotation also. So this also should be zero. It should be straight. And no, I mean, yeah, because it has to be on the floor. Yeah. So this is what I just want to make it straight. And the mm -hmm. uh, body has to go a little up. So we have this hip position. So at this frame, I just want to make this leg more straight, right? So okay. Right. So I'm just lifting the uh, hip little up. Okay. So now it is done. Let's see this. So what will happen is this turn we'll get and then leg goes forward. So from here and it goes there. Again, uh, now 19th frame. So which is leg which is coming from back side. So this is the leg. So same poses at 19th frame, uh, but whichever leg is coming from backside that has to be lifted up. So you can lift this up like this, move it back 
and lift it more up and this uh, make it more the heel rotation should be more down like this so if your poses are good uh, your animation is going to look nice so if your poses itself is wrong uh, whatever you do the animation won't look nice so just work on more on the poses so how much accurately you can spend the time on posing the body that much it will be easy for you to uh, get the animation proper animation only so now let's select this leg and every value should be zero so this zero, this zero and this as well yeah. and again so whatever the hip rotation is there so even this is going up so i can copy and paste because this will go the same height now we have done uh, this leg now we have just done only the key poses and passing pose let's see this how it looks okay so we didn't add any kind of weight pose for the character so we need to add some kind of weight uh, body weight which goes down to bend the character mm -hmm. okay so now this is where we have to add the weight pose so where the body goes down so this is called the weight pose for the character so here in this place the body goes down so i need to work on that poses now so that is at 4th and 16th frame so where the body goes down so i need to go to the 4th frame and this is the place where the body has to go down so you can just see that what is the body control for us uh, so press p i think if this is the body control yeah so this i will animate uh, even this i can just animate it over here so let's give the keyframe for the body first frame 13th frame and 25th frame it should be same fourth frame what i want it over here is the body can go down little bit like this mm -hmm. and 16th frame also should be same so control c go to the 16th frame paste it okay and this leg what will happen to this leg uh, this value should be zero so that tap will happen this value should be totally zero so in fourth frame also we need to do the same thing so it should not be floating like this so make this value zero so there will be no yeah. now we have done only this animation let's check that so uh, this is only the body movement i'm just doing now so you can just see this how it will look so if it goes down okay so upper body and all this we didn't animate it we are just animating only the leg now next thing we need to work on the hand controls of that and one more pose what we have to make it at this ninth pose where the body will be too high so this is the peak pose so 10th frame what will happen is the body will be up uh, this leg will be stretched like this uh, so that is the one pose which we need we didn't make so, um, wait yes yeah. so first you did the legs you make the legs move yeah then the the uh, heel to make sure that they are straight and it's not like yeah. um, and then you did the body going down and now you're doing the body going up yeah okay so one by one step by step we can go so uh, even while doing that poses so if you can see the poses if the body is going down if, even if you want to make that pose uh, at that time itself you can do it at the same time or if you feel that you have to go uh, first you animate the leg then you animate the hip rotation so that also we can do it this is there is no certain rule like they have to follow that same way so if you are seeing the pose the uh, this body is going down you can also start doing that uh, but only thing you have to remember is make the contact pose first this one this one this one then you work on the passing pose this and this then you work on the weight pose the order of this poses will be important don't go first this one then second then third then fourth then five or like this first is the contact contact pose so this one and 30. it's the down down is the weight pose 
we call it as so weight weight pose or down that is what uh, so first you so start with contact then passing mm-hmm. okay then you add a weight and then mm-hmm. up okay okay uh, so now we just need to work on this uh, peak pose now so this is the last pose i want to work this is just the body i want to make it straight little up that's it so this is what it will do copy this pose now and go to 19th or which is that frame 21 go to the 21 frame and paste it so i want the same uh, height so i'm just making now let's see this let's play that now you will see that body movement going up and down otherwise it will be too static so you see the weight of the character also now uh, we have passing pose the leg is moving nice and smoothly what you okay so now we need to work on the hand part how the hand uh, will work now so whichever the leg is forward now suppose we need to see this leg so which is this leg over here so you need to see that okay so if we see foot two or here for the hand what i will do it over here so this is always opposite so whichever the leg is forward opposite hand will go forward in the walk cycle so if you are walking that what will happen is it is always opposite uh hand or leg will go forward so this is so if the left leg is forward the right hand will go forward over here so it is always opposite uh, so when you are walking that this is what will happen so uh, when it is left leg forward this right hand will go forward when the left leg is back right hand uh, will change it over so always opposite goes uh, it goes in opposite direction so that we need to keep in mind when you are doing the walk uh, it is always opposite hand uh, if the left leg is forward the right hand has to go forward so we'll just start doing that now and the first frame what will happen over here so i'll just take this as a reference for this walk this is the first pose and for the hand so now i'll see that which is the leg which is forward so this is foot 2 so i need to make sure that i uh, uh, opposite hand is the c hand so this is the opposite hand for that leg so i need to adjust that over here okay so that we need to see that which is that uh, hand we need to do now go to effects and in this instead of using ik what i'll do is uh, i'll just use fk so we have forward kinematics and here i have the individual control for the hand so that is what i need to use it so enable ik is off now you can just switch off this and i can animate only this hand what does ik and ik ik mean? is inverse kinematic uh, where with the single control you will be able to move the hand ik so uh, if it is ik with the help of the single control suppose if i enable that and uh, if i just want to move it so i just get a single control for animating the hand but when you are using the ik you will not get that smooth arc inside the animation but that, the i in the key what does it mean exactly i means inverse k for kinematics okay yeah so uh, so there is uh, two things over here ik and fk fk means forward kinematics where we uh, manually rotate the uh, joints so here i am animating all the joints upper joint lower joint and the uh, wrist but inside the ik when i do it uh, i have to animate only uh, one control with the help of only one control we can animate it but you will not get a proper smooth uh, hand rotation when i try to do using the ik uh, so that's why i switch off this and we have this fk which is uh, enabled so give the keyframe for that so just want to move it forward this is what i need to do give the keyframe for this so press u yeah so we have that keyframe for this upper hand now you can just see that this is what we have done the animation for this upper hand so give the keyframe first and last will be same so copy that control c control c go to the last frame paste it 
okay so how much this hand should move uh, this is what the upper arm i'm just moving if it is more forward you can just see that how much i want to move this hand this much forward you want to move the hand or this is fine so this is fine over here okay so for the left hand what will happen is it will be always opposite so this hand is going forward so for this also switch off this fk and switch on this individual controls and move this back this will go back side like this okay so i'm just animating only the upper arm now so press u later we need to adjust uh, the wrist and the elbow part of it so copy it and paste it over here and 13th frame what will happen is it will reverse so this hand will go forward because opposite legs are going forward so this is what will happen in 13th frame and mm -hmm. second hand will go back this has to go back over here. Now we have done with this and uh, we have just given only the two keyframes. Let's see this how it works. Only the key poses we have given. Yeah. Uh, but it looks too stiff. Uh, so that is the thing now we need to work on this elbow and uh, the wrist part of that character. It is too stiff. Uh, the hands are too stiff. Uh, so this is the thing which we need to make it uh, at the passing pose. What I want to do it over here is whichever hand is coming from back. Suppose let's check that. So let's select this hand. And what is happening for this? So at seventh frame. So just check that which is that hand over here. So if you want to confirm that, yeah, this is that hand. So let's select this. So at seventh frame, what I want to do it over here just to give more flexibility. I can animate this forward a little more. And we also have this keyframe. So I just bend this. Even the wrist, I want to bend in the same direction. Okay, so just I want to give some kind of delay for this hand when it is coming over here. So it goes up and then it goes back. And here at the 19th frame, just give more delay for this hand. So it goes more back. This goes straight. And the wrist also goes more back. And let's see this. Not this much. This is more. This is what I need to do for this hand. So we are just done for only one hand. And now you can see the difference between both the hands when it walks. So just giving some kind of delay for the hand. So everything will not move at the same time. Okay, so I need to make the keys little much smoother. But this is what we have, uh, this animation. So it will have some kind of delay. It is going back and then it goes forward. Okay, so how the first key will be there? So you need to make sure that the same thing you copy and paste for the last frame. So if you are animating, and 13th frame is what uh, again I need to give some kind of keyframe for this. Little bit down, even for this, some keyframe should be there uh, to make it more smooth. And select all this keyframe and make it easy ease. So right click, keyframe assistant easy mm -hmm. ease. So when I give easy ease, it would be nice and smooth. Uh, the hand movement. Let's play and check that. Okay, so sometimes we might need to see that uh, how much it is going up. So this part, I think it is too much high. So let's bring this down. I don't want this to be this much up. This is the keyframe. Okay. 
Plasti. So we have to start playing and checking that over here. So still, uh, so if you want to adjust the graph now, uh, I can also adjust the graph editor. So here you can just see there is one symbol for graph editor. Click on that. So whatever the control you are animating, and you are not getting that smooth animation because of this graph. So it is not smooth. You can just see that it slows down and then again it goes fast. So you need to make sure that you graph you adjust it. The handle, you can just make it smooth like that. Mm -hmm. So it should go in the same uh, smooth way over here. Even this way, you can just see this kind of uh, graph. So you need to make sure that it is nice and clean. So now it is in a nice arc for this animation uh, to work. Let me make this nice and smooth. Though. This also, so if you feel that little bit, you can adjust that graph. Now this is fine. Uh, select this lower arm and here also you see there is some issue with the graph. It is not proper. So you need to make sure that you clean that over here. So down you can just see some kind of controls over here. So if you just want to do easy ease for that or you want to give a linear key for that, here we have keys. So when I give it linear, it will be very sharp. You want to make it smooth, automatic bezier. You can convert that into automatic bezier. So it will be nice and uh, smooth. So it will try to do it on both the sides proper. This is also fine, you just start adjusting this more smooth. So all of these three controls is what we need to adjust it properly and goal also. So this is also not in a proper shape. So make sure that this you adjust the arc to make the animation much smoother. Mm -hmm. So this is the part which, which will take little much time. Uh, to fine tune the animation in the end. So what all, even for the leg and all, I need to fine tune the graph more clearly. Otherwise, it will be too hard. And here we can just see that this animation for this hand is very stiff. So uh, it will be like this. So you can just select all the keyframes. You can select all the keyframes over here. Shift and select. And here you can make it smooth. So now this is what it has done using the auto smooth okay so now we can control that so how much smooth you want you can just get that much smoothness for okay. so come out of this and let's check that hand animation what i have did before whether it is smooth or not now you get this nice and smooth movement for this Look like he's dancing. Huh? He looks like he's dancing. Yeah. Something. <laughs> okay. So this is what will happen. And uh, here I feel that here it is down and here it goes up. This is fine. Then here also the hand is little bit of delay is there in the hand. So this wrist position, I feel that this is too much, uh, wrist is too much high. So let's bring this down. Yeah. Uh, another hand also, I just need to animate now. So uh, let's go for this hand too. And let's start adjusting even this keyframes over here. So this is what we have. So this is the first frame, this goes forward and where I need to give the delay for this hand is 7th frame. So uh, this hand is coming from back, so 7th frame you want to give some delay, so move the hand back, even this lower hand little more back and the wrist also, so wrist also will go little back like so I am just giving some kind of delay for the animation so when it is coming from back. So shoulder will have different movement then this is what the delay I am adding now. So otherwise everything will look at the same time. So we need to give some kind of delay in the hand to make it look like it is moving at a different uh, timing. Okay. 
here also little up the wrist can be little more up so whichever the direction the hand is coming i'm just moving that in the same direction so you can see some kind of delay over there so right click keyframe assistant easy ease and this is what we have let's see this and i need to clean up the graph as well let's see this now we can just see this hand delay okay so it is not like uh, everything is moving very static so this will have different movement uh, this is uh, going little bit of delays there in this hand and even the wrist is having little delay over there uh, now let's start adjusting the graph for that so this is what the graph is there and it is back so click out select each control and this you need to smooth it out so it should be nice and smooth even the lower this is fine and goal okay, so this is fine so uh, this is having nice and smooth curve so I don't see any issue with that and we still need to work on the upper body uh, and also the head part the head is too stiff and the spine is also too stiff so I need to work on that as well and there is problem with this hand so uh, that is because of the layer you can just see this hand which is over here let's see that yeah uh, so whatever this hand layer is has to go behind that uh, leg layer uh, so now at present we are seeing that issue so you can just switch off this shy layer and I need to move that shape layer behind that uh, leg layer so you need to see that this is the hand this is the left hand and we have right hand over here so all this hand part forearm and it has to go behind that right foot so that is what the problem is happening we can just see that on the knee this hand is moving so just drag and drop this hand behind this so now it is proper Okay, so now hide it again and now this is fine. So now we can just see this over here. So at this frame. Let's see this. And this wrist, I feel uh, I need to adjust this uh, wrist. And you don't move the, the hips, like because the body is not always on the same um, line. Like yeah, I need to rotate the, this, uh, even the upper body, I need to rotate. Oh, okay. So it is forward. Uh, so we'll working one by one. So uh, first we'll fix this uh, up and down hand. Then I have to work on the spine and the head part of the hand. Okay. Okay, so uh, now let's work on this hand a little bit more. So this this is the hand which we have. This hand. Press U to see this. This is fine. No, no, no. Let's press U. I need to bend it a little more up. Yeah, so you can just see this. This fine. So now we are done with this. Now we have to work on the upper body. So when the body is contact pose, so how the body will be forward and at this frame, the passing uh, pose, how this body is very straight uh, to that. So this is what I need to work on this now the upper body uh, part for that character. So we have mm -hmm. the control for that is over here. So this is the body part which we have and we have the spine also. So this one, so if I just press R, let's check that. Oh, you changed the name and you put uh, spine root and spine curve, no? Yeah, so uh, no, no, it is all already same. Mm -hmm. so same with a spine and spine two, I was like, uh, like that is uh, for joints. Spine and spine two is for joints. 
this is this is the name uh, ah yeah 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 sorry 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 yeah, it's yeah. not the joint uh, this is the control so when it comes for the controls you have the hip and you have the body also so if I press R I think this will be the for the upper body so you can just see that bend the whole body rotation will happen for this okay so for this uh, now i need to work on the rotation of the body so when this body is down so give the keyframe for this give the keyframe rotation okay and just animate that so uh, this keyframe what will happen over here is I just one little forward this body not too much okay and copy this 113 and uh, 25 will be the same pose for that rotation because that are the contact poses so contact poses i'll just give the same and when it is passing pose so the body should be very straight so i need to make sure that the body goes back so it balances itself copy this 7th and 19th frame this is what will happen with the body and again so you can just see this yeah. so it is having that body movement now so at 19th or uh, ninth or tenth frame. So I think tenth frame is fine. The body the position is the head. I will uh, animate later. So this is what we have. So select this position keys. And all this I need to make sure that uh, everything I can just give the keyframe. Right click keyframe assistant easy ease. So everything will be nice and smooth. And let's play this. And then even if you move the spine, the hips are not changing. The no, if you don't move the spine, the heels are not changed. You don't automatically change uh, the heel, move the spine. So, for this, you have this hip rotation. So, if you want to adjust this hip rotation, you have this. Mm. And because sometimes maybe you like to make sure that they don't move the, the heel and make sure that they are nicely on the floor, you can just walk them yeah. when you move to make sure that they're not going to change it. Okay. Uh, one more thing what we can do is we can also add some kind of tap uh, for the leg uh, for this. So uh, we also have the control for that, uh, right? So if I just select this foot, we also have this uh, toes. So uh, this also we can give some kind of tap when it hits over here. So first frame, let it be little high like this. And what will happen over here? So when it comes at this frame, one frame later, fifth frame what I'll do is I'll just make this zero. So you will see that tap also which is happening uh, in the leg. Okay. Even when it is coming back over here, so we can just play around with the toe uh, part over here. So, how this toe can go when this can go forward like this. So, just giving that arc for this, this one. Uh, how this shape is there, you can still add uh, that over here. So it gives more flexibility for that character when it is walking. Okay, so slowly we will work on the head also. So uh, head, how it will work over here is we have the head control for this. So press R, even the rotation for this head. I can give the keyframe. Uh, 1, 13 and 25, I'll just give the same keyframe, copy, paste, 25 also paste. And for this head, what we'll do is when the body goes down, I will uh, move the head up. When the body goes up, 
this is the peak pose i'll move the head down so we'll get nice control so when the body is down uh, let's rotate the head little back like this and when the body goes to the peak pose i just want to make the head go little forward like this okay so these two key frames you can copy now control c 16th frame is the down pose so i can copy and paste it control v and where the peak pose is copy 21 for 22 frame paste so now we have even this control so select this now right click keyframe assistant easy easy so even there will be some kind of head rotation also which will be happening so uh, very subtle movement if you want to give that so we can just give that little bit of more movement for this now the head rotation is too much so that is what we can control using the graph editor so select the head rotation go to the graph and now we have this pose. so just make this down and up uh, how much you want this uh, to go up so we can just use this keyframe and move this up i don't want too much rotation for the head it was too much you can adjust this graph and i don't want this to go too much down also so again you can just bring this down so you can control the graph using over here so if you want very less rotation for the head uh, everything we can control inside the graph editor so it is much easy instead of adjusting the keyframe we can adjust it we just done very subtle movement for the head now now the head will not have that much movement very small movement and for this hip rotation the body rotation also i feel that it is too much uh, rotated so select the body rotation control go to this and i feel that this is too much so select this all these things you can just move it up now this part also select this and bring it down very less movement i want i don't want that a movement for the body too much let's select this click so very less movement i give for the body now it is So we need to see that first and last are same or not for the hand. It is same. It is same, but uh, only the toe part you can just see that it is not same. So uh, this toe part you can just see that keyframe for that. Press U. I can copy everything and paste it because first and last should be same uh, poses. So if it changes, you will see sudden jump inside that animation. Because it is a cycle, it should look same. Let's check out this. Don't require that image now. Okay, so this is one way. Yeah. Is there still something missing? It's still moving funny. Goes down, then it goes up. Yeah. Uh, the this up and down position of that, if you can uh, give more or less, uh, this is that which we have it over here for that body control. So I can just use this even for the graph. So the bouncing is too much for that. So press P. Select yeah, this position. Yeah. Press. So the height of that is too much over here. So I need to control this height which is going down. So even for this, I think I have animated for the hip. P. So this one, I think this is what it is too much over here. So I might... Yeah, my goodness. This one is too much down. Thank you. 
Oh, you reduce it a lot. Yeah. Okay, so that that how much we want to control, uh, we can control yeah. the body. So it is very less, uh, even for this body. So this is all about inside the graph editor, how much smooth I want to do that animation over here. So everything I can control it using that. And this is too less. So this one, here the body goes down. And, uh, okay. So yeah, so this is, uh, we can do it, we can fine tune it more, uh, so you need to adjust the graph uh, still over here. Uh, this is what we can just uh, do that walk for any of this. And double bounce when you want to do, you have to just change only one pose to make it more cartoonistic walk inside this. Uh, so there is one thing what we can change it when we are doing that double bounce walk cycle over here is uh, this pose I need to change it. So here what is happening is it goes down. Then here I just need to give one more keyframe. 19th also one more keyframe. And what I will do it over this frame uh, over here is I just want again the body to go down. So you will see the double bounce walk cycle over here so copy this keyframe and again at this frame you can just paste it. So now what will happen is you will see this double bounce uh, walk cycle so two times it will jump uh, up and down the character. Okay. Uh, so that is what it will have that if you see that Donald Duck walk cycle and all uh, it will bounce two times so this is what we can do it at this ninth frame is what I just want to make it more down this character pose. So this is where we can change the walk cycle for that character. So again over here, paste it and we'll have double bounce the character. And we're having more of this uh, funny walk cycle which is over there. So two times uh, we can make the character bounce. So if it is a normal walk cycle, uh, this pose will be very straight. So I can just make it very straight, this pose. More, 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 more. Yeah, this is what I And copy the same keyframe. Just by changing one uh, keyframe, you can change the whole walk cycle over here. Control V and we have this. Okay, so you can still add a uh, lot of controls for the hairs also, so hairs are not moving. Uh, so if you want to animate this hair also, uh, we need to go to that layer, hair layer. And uh, we can still do the animation for this hair. So if I just go to that layer and this time I need to animate the shapes. So open this, open the hair contents and inside this path we have this. So how do I animate this here? Uh, I can use the keyframe for this one, 13 and 25 first, same keyframe. And when the body goes down, what I will do is I can just move this here more back up. Back. So when the body goes down, this hair goes up. When the body goes up, this hair I just need to make it forward and down. That is what I need to do it over here. So again if I just see this frame, copy paste, copy this keyframe, paste it and copy this again and paste it at this frame. Let's check this, how, how does this will look. So very subtle. So if it is too much, I just adjust the inside the graph. It is too much. So uh, I need to give very less movement for this uh, hair. So again, I can just go to the graph editor, smooth this out. Even the cloth animation, we need to do the same way. So how the cloth moves up and down. So the same thing. You have to do it manually inside this graph editor. Let's see this. 
see how much it has to go down I think this is too much for that here I can copy the same key control C control V and then give little bit of forward movement for this we don't want that much same key copy it and paste it now we have this very subtle movement for the hair so if there are multiple layers it will be much easy for us to do that uh, but still I need to reduce that movement for that hair it is too much so very light movement we need to add it for that so I think this is where how much up it goes copy this control C control V and very little movement so let's move it one pixel back for here we'll copy this keyframe control C control V So very little movement I can give for this, even for this cloth, if you want to work on this cloth animation also, uh, now the cloth looks too stiff. So if you want to work on that cloth animation, again you have to go to that layer and uh, I can just work on that cloth. So what is this is the lower body and this is where we need to animate this path for this. Okay, so go to this path, you have this option, open the lower body contents, this one, and go to the shape, path, and I can give the keyframe for this. Okay, so how you want this uh, cloth to move, I can just uh, decide now, so let's select this keyframe, push it back. Let's make this. So this is like frame by frame also you can do it, uh, this is, so this one is the first, last, control C, control V, and last also control V. Now let's go to this uh, frame, when the body goes down, I can move this cloth up. So little movement I can give when the body goes up, very high pose, just move this cloth little down. So that will work. Copy this keyframe again, control C, go to this frame, paste it. And this also, copy this keyframe, paste it and it Okay, so that is what fine tuning of this animation will be, so uh, even the uh, sleeves or hands, everything, so if you want to animate the shapes also, uh, to make it more refined animation, so we need to work on that as well. It will take time, so... Yeah, will... looks like it. <laughs> yeah. So now we have this, even the cloth movement as well. Okay, so even this, if you feel that this is too stiff, you can also animate this, even this uh, cloth for that, if you want to use that as well. So that is like fine tuning all your animations in the end, uh, how this cloth movement should be there and all. So it, you have, you can keep on improving that animation. Even uh, what I can do is I can also add some kind of eye blinks uh, for the character. So for that also, you have to go to that eye layer and whatever the shape layers we have made. So inside the face, we have that layer. Inside that, we have to find it out where the eyes, this, this ellipse. So I open that, I'll just give one blink for that. Transform, and I'll just give the scale, this one. And after a certain frame, let's add one blink over here, make it zero or one, then again, it becomes 100 only x axis so
So that will also improve your animation. Let's see this. Mm -hmm. So it gives some life for your uh, character when you have that blinks. And if you want to uh, animate that smile also, we can still work on each and every shape. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, you start working on that poses first, uh, the walk cycle. So uh, whatever the rig has shared, I think you can just work with the same file if you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can later.